Crappy Webcam Production presents. Hi, this is Vec Daddy. I have a video response for um, my good friend Tech Freak, my dear, dear friend Tech Freak. Uh, Watch the video, and it was incredible. It was awesome. Two thumbs up. Not even, not even half thumbs. Like full thumbs. Good video. Good points uh, uh, made in the video. You kind of rambled a little bit there, but that's understandable. Um, so I do want to uh, refute a couple of things you said, and I'm going to um, I'm going to give you some examples. And uh, I do have notes, and so if you do see me looking down here, it's because I'm looking at my notes um, down here. Okay. Uh, so first off, uh, I, I want to say that I agree with like 90% of everything you said, um, but unfortunately, I hear a lot of the same thing from theists, uh, saying that science is is out to destroy their religion, science is out to destroy their god, and uh, my my usual rebuttal uh, when that comes across is that science does not go out of its way to remove a god. It just does it by its nature. It's not malice. Uh, I give the example of um, uh, early man when uh, religion was first uh, uh, showing its uh, head upon this planet. Uh, couldn't explain why this big, big, bright ball was flying around in the sky. And so they, um, they came up with the concept of a god who would ride a chariot, a flaming chariot, across the sky every day they didn't understand what it was and so they had a god they created a god for that it served a purpose and they believed that they understood exactly what was going on because of um, that religion uh, that that uh, theology um, science did not go out of its way to say okay the god of Horus is a fictional fairy tale no they didn't set out to do that they wanted to understand exactly what was going on and so they started poking around. They're like, "Oh, there's a big ball of gas uh, out, in the, out in space, and and it's it's going around us." At first, they thought it was going around us, and it's going around us. Whoa, whoa cool, great, awesome. So we now we know that's not a god on a chariot. We know that that's a big bright ball of burning gas out there in space. And um, and so once that uh, once that understanding was in place, uh, the religion that said that. Uh, uh, it was a chariot and a god going across the sky either had to adapt to this new knowledge or be discarded uh, wholesale uh, of course we know that it did adapt uh, most most religions will do that once science steps in and says no 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 most religions will do that uh, see that most recently now with the uh, catholic church and their position on evolution and um some of the uh, social concepts that we have today uh, the Catholic Church seems more in depth to say instead of trying to refute this stuff let's go ahead and say okay we'll absorb a little bit of that and that's what you know a lot of religions do um, but I do I do want to challenge you on one of your points and that in uh, one, one of the parts in your video um, you said that uh, a belief is not a choice and uh, you follow that up with um, uh, some really compelling um, logical ideas. And um, I'm not sure I totally agree with it, but I understand where you're coming from. So now that I've laid that groundwork, uh, I also want to bring up something else that you said and apply it to that. And that um, at about the 10 minute mark, in the video, you were railing against um, a, a, a theist, a, a religious nut, who was um, saying that there was a God. And you said, and I quote, Now let's use actual, factual, scientific, peer-reviewable evidence, empirical evidence, that something exists, you don't assert that it does. End quote. Um, I agree with that, actually. I do agree with that. Uh, but it's philosophical at best, not scientific. Um, because the reverse is also true. Uh, unless you have actual, factual, scientific, peer-reviewable evidence, empirical evidence, that something does not exist, you don't assert that it doesn't. So... I will let you. I will. I will let you. You know, mentally chew on that for a minute. Hopefully, 
hopefully you understand what I'm trying to uh, impress upon you is that to say that God does not exist is f- a philosophical argument just like uh, you know the the statement that God does exist um, looking at it from a naturalistic perspective um, nobody's ever going to be able to give you evidence that something supernatural exists because by its very definition once you do have a naturalistic explanation for the supernatural it's no longer supernatural it is naturalistic on the reverse side of the coin um, your uh, science is never going to convince a theist um, that their scriptures and canons and uh, ancient texts are incorrect it's a perspective issue in which you cannot see the other's point of view because there's this big ball of uh, of inconsistent uh, logic uh, being thrown about from side to side. Um, you did say that um, belief is not a choice. So if we apply your mechanics um, to that statement unless you have actual factual scientific peer-reviewable evidence empirical evidence that something exists you don't assert that it does well you've asserted that a belief is not a choice and I'm um, looking around for all this empirical evidence for that statement and I don't see any applying your mechanics uh, I think that I have just proven uh, that a belief is in fact a choice why? Because there's no evidence to support your statement. Therefore, the opposite must be true. That's 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 a misapplication of falsifiable evidence. Uh, I don't feel that I have to explain what falsifiable evidence is to you. I respect your knowledge, and so I won't uh, won't de- uh, belittle you like that. Falsifi- fa- falsifiable evidence. Uh, it is, of course, used to substantiate and corroborate evidence. Uh, in the scientific method, uh, falsifiable evidence um, is not required. It's not an absolute. Falsifiable, uh, falsi- falsifi- uh, falsifiability, falsifiability uh, is meant to support existing evidence. It's not meant to be evidence on its own. Uh, so if you say, you know, the car is blue, you know, that's falsifiable because we can look at the car and see that it's not red. Uh, the fact that it was not red would be the falsifiable uh, evidence. <clears throat> um, so your application of, of, of falsifiable evidence against God um, is really, it's really neither here nor there. You can't, um, well, they, they say you can't prove a negative. So, you're trying to disprove a negative. Well, if you can't prove a negative, you can't really disprove a negative either. So, I'm going to lob that back into your court. And uh, it's now your play. Uh, I do want to, you know, implore you to leave the um, philosophical arguments to the theists. That's what they do best. And um, from now on, try and stick to the scientific arguments. That's what you do best. Again... Much respect, peace, love, and hugs and kisses, and that was awkward. Water, fire, air, and dirt, fucking magnets. How do they work? And I don't want to talk to a scientist. Y'all motherfuckers lying and getting me pissed. What is, what is the matter with you? I thought it was bedtime. It's bedtime. bedtime. Good night. I also want to tell you a story. Here's a story. Once upon a time, there was a kid that wouldn't go to bed and he got his ass beat. <laughs> the end. Nobody lived happily ever after. Good night. I don't like that story. <laughs> you don't like that story. I don't like that story either.